Hello friends, my name is Ayush. You are watching Ayush Course, and today in this video we will see how we can draw a polygon using Q Mouse Event in Qt Creator. So let's get started. Now, first of all, we will see how the process of drawing a polygon using Q Mouse Event works. So first, very first, when we have to draw a polygon on a canvas designed in Q Mouse, uh, sorry, Qt Creator, we first of all need to collect all the points where the mouse press event has occurred. Then, after collecting all the coordinates that uh, where the mouse press event is occurred, we need to connect each coordinate. And our logic works that first of all, when anyone clicks the left mouse button, we need to store that coordinate of that location to the particular array. For example, we will be maintaining two arrays for vertices X and vertices Y. So vertices X will store the X coordinate of the array and vertices Y will store the Y coordinate of the vertex. So for example, if anyone presses press left key here on A, the array will store, one array will store the X value and another array will be store the Y value. Okay. We will be doing this until the user clicks the right button. When right button click is occurred, for example, here user has clicked first A then B, then C, then D, and then E. At last, after cl clicking left on E, the, if the user clicks the right button, the we will not be storing any coordinates after clicking right button. We will be just connecting the last stored coordinate that is 2, 0 to the first stored coordinates that is 1, 1. And this will sure that our polygon is a closed figure after clicking the right button. Let's see the algorithm. The first algorithm is very simple. Here, initialize array x, y coordinates. Uh, we are initializing vertices x, vertices y to array for storing the x and y coordinate of each, each vertices. Then create a count where index count. This where index will be storing the index or current uh, position of the vertices. Uh, means how many vertex are there in our array. Then we create. We will create a mouse press event call method. In in that method, we will initialize x and y. So x and y will grab the position or coordinates of the mouse where the click event is occurred. So it will grab that event by using the position. This position method is defined in it. Then we will return. We will does not point any uh, point on the canvas if the x or y is greater than our window. That is our canvas. If our canvas is by 500, 500, for example, this is our canvas and anyone clicks here outside the canvas. So this point will not be drawn as it's outside our canvas. And then we have to check if right button is clicked. If yes, right button is clicked, then we have to connect the coordinate, last coordinate store in array to the first coordinate store. But if right button is not clicked, then is, we have to grab the position, then store it in the respective array vertices X and vertices Y. If we have previously stored values in the array, so we need to draw a line from previous stored coordinates, for example, A to this coordinate that is B. So this is a simple algorithm to draw a polygon using QMouse event. For example, here we can see uh, the, the vertices X array will store all the X values for all the coordinates. For example, 1, 3, 3, 4, 2. 1, 3, 3, 4, 2 will be the vertices X array. And vertices Y array will be stored all Y values for the all uh, vertices of the polygon. For example, 1, 3, 1, 2, 4, 1, 0. 1, 2, 4, 1, 0. Now let's see the coding part. We will come to the coding part. Okay. So in, in here in coding, I have done uh, uh, some previous jobs. For example, I will show you mainwindow.ui. Here I have created a label. Uh, you can see label is the object name is label and the geometry of the label is x, y coordinates starting from 0, 0 and width is 500 by 500. Okay, fine. Now uh, in the source file mainwindow.cpp, I have uh, declared some variable to make the work pass so float vertices x of size 10 means we are here to be storing x coordinate of the vertices but here maximum is 10 so maximum 10 coordinates can, uh, 10 vertices can be stored same for y y vertices y is storing the y coordinate then <coughs> num vertices is for uh, calculating the total number of vertices present in the array and here I have uh, declared an image object which is obviously for the canvas you create uh, if you don't know anything about this image then I uh, I suggest you to watch my previous videos and uh, this slope is basically for uh, we don't need this this video but when we will be learning scanline algorithm we will surely need this slope then uh, here plot pixel method I have declared this method one plot pixel method plot pixel method is a method for plotting that point on x comma y coordinate with the declared color here that is green color and DDA line is a method to draw line as Qt create does not provide us line method so we basically tend to use DDA line 
to DDL line I have declared if you don't know anything about DDL line I suggest you should watch the previous videos to get to know about DDL line okay now we will code about code about the mouse press event so void void main window mouse press event which will take argument as mouse event of type event Q mouse event now we will be storing the int x equals to x event it will be storing x x Now we will see the method for queue mouse event. We will declare a method here void main window void main window mouse event mouse press event basically which will be take argument of queue mouse event type event then to draw polygon okay so okay so here we will declare two variables int x equals to event 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 position position is method residing in event dot x so x will be say uh, x will send the x coordinate and int y equals to event Then we will check if if x if x is greater than 500 or y is greater than 500. That means our point um, or the user has clicked outside the canvas, so we will return something. Return. Else we will plot pixel x comma y. If it is inside, we will just plot the pixel. Then now the task is to draw line or not, or draw line from where from last point or first point. So we will check if event event button events button is exactly equals to qt right button is exactly equals to qt right button so if it is a right button we will store it in ver vertices x num vertices index equals to vertices x zero okay so here we are storing the first array value into the last position also and this is not necessary here but when we will be using scan fill algorithm it will be helpful so this is the task uh, if you wish you can do neither you can leave it but this is why zero means we are storing the first position into the last position means copying then we will draw a line using dd line from vertices x to vertices minus one vertices y num vertices minus 1 to the first position that is vertices x vertices x 0 to vertices y 0 so I will close this ok so vertices y so this DDA will draw a line from array, array's last element to the array's first element that is from uh, where we have stored the last vertices coordinate to the first coordinate that means this line is used to close the polygon, polygon figure okay now <coughs> the else part the else part we are storing vertices x we are storing num num vertices num vertices equals to x okay then again we will be storing vert vertices y num vertices 
equals to y then we are storing y but y and x and y coordinates in the respective arrays then if we are checking if num num vertices if num vertices is greater than zero that means our array contains at least two members okay is greater than zero then we will draw a line because if our array contain only one coordinate we will be we will be not drawing line so but what does this x num vertices minus one previous position we are drawing line draw a line from previous coordinates to current okay now after this we will be increasing the value of num vertices because we have stored the value and num vertices is tracking where the point so this was a simple code to draw polygon now let's run our code first of all we will check if our method is declared or not so in the main window we have declared our methods make sure that every each and every method which you define should be declared here in main window so this is our canvas i think i said that if anyone clicks outside nothing should happen but if anyone clicks here inside the point should be happen so i will run again so here i click then here i click line is drawn then line is drawn then line is drawn now i will click right button the polygon should be closed okay after clicking right button the polygon is closed so this is what and how a polygon drawing algorithm works here in qt creator now in upcoming video we will see how we can fill this polygon using scan fill algorithm that's it for today thank you